doing it, but that's what's going on. Aha! 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 How are The man with the camera. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you doing? Good, yeah, very well. In St. Neats today with uh, Jonathan Jobley, who is the MP for Huntingdonshire. Jo Jonathan, what has the Command Authority done here in St. Neats, uh, and what, what, what are the plans for the town centre? Okay, so firstly, lovely to see you <laughs> today again in St. Neats. I remember bringing you here just after you got selected, Absolutely. you were very keen to know what was going on. And a lot has happened so far since then. So, for instance, parking now has been stopped in the Market Square, which means it's been returned, if you like, to the people. We have uh, better licensing of some of the pubs. Um, so if we look there, we have the Old Falcon uh, pub, which is going to be totally redone, iconic. We have some tables and chairs and cafes in the Market Square, but it needed the big idea. Mm -hmm. And to have that big idea, it needed more than the very local parties to help, which is where you came in, James. I think it's a great example, actually, of Conservative politics in action. Conservative District Council, Conservative Mayor, Conservative Secretary of State, Conservative MP working together to create what is going to be a much better set nips. Once, with, when these plans are put into action, um, is going to really move this town forward. So, so thank you for your support. Well, I think it's, you're absolutely right. This is when we work together, we can deliver great things. And St. Neitz deserves the money it's, it's had, you know, three million pounds of combined authority, topped up by district council money as well. Uh, and I think it's a really exciting time for this town. Uh, and, uh, and it's gonna have a really exciting future. Just so why are we here in Maney? Well, just over here, is where we're going to build a new car park for the station. There's not been a proper car park here at Mainly Railway Station, but it's not just investing money in a car park for the station that's important. Yes, we've included uh, improved shelters as well. What we really want here is an early service and a late service. Uh, and we've got a great opportunity now. With the refresh because of COVID, there's been a change to the government's position on franchising for railway company. So it's a real opportunity now to get the service through the fence that we really need. And of course, it's not just about Maney, but it's about March and Whittlesea as well. There's no point having a railway station if the general public can't use it. And there's some days a week, it's not even worth turning up here to get on the train. So yes, we're investing in the car parks. It's very important in the Fens, but we really want to make sure that when people get here to the railway station, they get the service that they actually deserve. And that's the next stage. You used to deliver milk here? Yeah, I did, when did yeah, you do that? Mainy. Yeah, I had, uh, well, I, had a, I had a milk ground business. We used to deliver in March, Maney, Chatteris, Soham, Ely, uh, Haddenham, Will Burton, all over the place. I want Chatteris to be connected and to have the same opportunities as other towns in, in Cambridgeshire. What do you want, Anne? I want the ability for people to have access to uh, jobs. We're now working with government to upgrade our entire bus service, particularly concentrating on rural areas and market towns. We've released a new map which has Chatteris on it as part of the network for Pan Metro. So what difference do you think that will make? I think it will make a fantastic difference, particularly for our youngsters. I would hope if you get back in as mayor that you will help us along that route.